Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, day 442. I'm a little bit wet today because I just got out of the shower and we're about to head to the party we came to Brisbane for. So today will be another no moving round and we're going to make it a no moving speed round because I have things to do. Um, oh, this is an interesting round, damn it. Off the bat, it's an interesting round. Oh, sweet. Okay. These look like short dashes. I know that, yes, yeah, see, that looks um, Scandinavian. Sweden and Norway can have dash lines on their roads. Norway has longer dashes, Sweden has shorter dashes. These dashes look short, and that there says Sweco, S W E Co. Probably means Sweden Co. So my best bet for this round is probably a Sweden guess. Sort of, um, probably closer to Stockholm, maybe in the south, there. Good and bad. It was Sweden, thankfully, but it was much further north than I expected. That's okay. Are you allowed to drink alcohol on YouTube? I don't know, but I'm having a sip of my drink. If anyone asks, it's apple cider. Well, yeah. It is apple cider, technically. It's just with a bonus. Um, okay, this is an interesting round. Again. Oh, I don't know what to do about this round at all. That looks like a classic stop sign in the distance, but it's blurred. The lines are white, both sides, and they're solid on the outside. Do we have any car meta? Some car meta might help here. None that I can see clearly. Part of me wants to say Chile, but I don't think it is. It doesn't feel South American to me. Which means I feel like I just need to sort of head for Europe. And just place and hope. I'm just going to go sort of Central Europe and Slovakia. It's a real hedge my bet guess. Oh, what? Colombia. It had white lines. That is a huge shock to me. I thought Colombia could only have yellow lines in the center road. I'm like, I'm sure over whole countries there's exceptions, but that didn't feel like a unique road that would have an exception. That's really interesting. Sad about that, but also an interesting round to know. Speaking of, there are yellow number plates on most of these cars. Oh, but that one's white. And that sort of throws off my theory. Hmm. Yellow. Do we have any signs of, like, writing? Judging by the people, I would not feel bad going South America. Hmm. But with only some yellow cars, I'm just going to go, I can only go with the clues I have that I understand. And I think this is a mix between Colombia and Ecuador. So I'm going to go right on the border and hope I'm correct. No, it's Peru. I mean, it's close, but it's not the greatest closeness. Come on, let's get at least one really good round in. I know it's no moving, and I very rarely play no moving, so I don't have to expect greatness, but... Oh, God, okay. I don't know what this looks like, your zoomed-in view of my face while I look at this closer, but um, that is Thai writing, and the one that's important is the one down there that says Chiang Mai. Because I think we'll find it on the map. Chiang Mai, yep. Up in northern Thailand. What are we close to? Wat Nam Ho. Oh, we're also close to the Pai district, but I think that might be a little bit too much. PAI district. Oh, wait, no. Pai. PAI is up there. Oh, no. This is going really well. Um... Okay, the B2 Premier Hotel is near us. If this is the correct place. There's the B2 Premier. Oh my god. It says... 530... Is that dollars or meters? Let's actually look behind us instead of looking at a sign pointing behind us. Um... No. 
I don't, okay. We're at intersection. It's quite a major intersection. I think it's time to go into road alignment mode. Let's point the camera down. And if I get to the party and anyone asks why I'm running a little bit late, I'll tell them I was going for a perfect score in a no moving Thailand round. And they'll go, oh, we understand completely. You should still be at home working on it. Oh, look at that. That line roads, that road lines up perfectly. And the B2 pi thing is behind me. I think that's where we are. I'm going to take my guess. <laughs> that is a perfect score. No moving in Thailand. I cannot believe that. That is incredible. I don't think I've ever had a Thailand perfect score ever, let alone no moving. That was just... I mean, it was a great round. It was a very generous round with lots of clues, but you can't let those slip by. You've had I've had good rounds with clues before that have screwed up. That was great. Who cares what happens this round now? That was awesome. Um, speaking of this round, it's Ghana. Thankfully, the tape on the crossbar tells us it's Ghana. We're going to click Ghana. We're going to click spacebar and get a decent score. I accidentally put myself in a swamp, so maybe could have got a better score if I didn't put myself in a swamp, but that's okay. 14,000, so close to that 15,000 with a no moving. But all of it, it doesn't matter because we got the Thailand round. I'm sure other people will too, but I'm just so happy. Thailand is the bane of my existence sometimes. It's such a hard place to guess in. But we did so well. Nick is the only other person so far. They did well in the Thailand round too. Okay. GG everyone, I'm about to sneeze, so I'm going to end the video. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.